Hello, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be designing this bottle. And instead of using the loft feature, we are going to be using the sweep feature and some surface tool to create this bottle. So let's start a new part file and see how we can create it. To create this bottle, we are going to start a new part file. So I'll click new part and click OK. The unit for this project is in inch. And you can change your unit under Options, Document Properties, Units, select Inch and click OK. The first thing we are going to do to create this part is, let me minimize this. I'm going to include these two files in the description. So make sure you copy these files because we are going to need these files to create this project. So look in the description and download these two files. So once you've downloaded the file, come to surface and select curve and you want to select curve through XYZ point and click browse and browse to the location where you save those files. Mine is on my desktop. I'm going to browse there. I'll select the first one and click open. It don't really matter which one you select and click OK. And we have insert that first curve. We are going to insert the second curve. So I'm going to click on this drop down again. Select curve through XYZ point. I'm going to browse. And I'm going to select the second one and click open and click OK. So I have my two curves in now. So the next thing we are going to do is select the top plane. Start a sketch. And when you are in your sketch mode, it should look like this. Then let's draw an ellipse. Starting at the origin point, drag out and drag up and click. Now I'm going to accept that. Then we can move this to a view like this where we can see it. Then we are going to select this point in our curve and add a PS relation. Then we'll select this point. Holding down the control key, select the curve and add a PS relation. And you should have a fully defined sketch and you should have something like this. Exit your sketch. We are going to select the front plane and start a new sketch on the front plane. Going to go normal two. And on this plane, we are just going to draw a line from the origin point coming up. Something like that. We are going to add a dimension. The dimension is going to be 9.125. And once you add your dimension, you have a fully defined sketch. Exit out of the sketch. Then we are going to come to feature. Make sure nothing is selected on your screen. Come to the feature. Select swept boss. And for the profile, we are going to select our ellipse. For the path, we are going to select the line. And click on this drop down for the guy curve. For the guy curve, we are going to select our two curves. Select the first one and select the second one. And once you get a preview like this, click OK. And now we can hide those two curves because we don't need them anymore. To hide them, just right click on it and click on this eyeball. Next, we are going to select the front plane. Come to the sketch tab and start a new sketch. I'll go number two. And on this plane, I'm just going to draw a line, something that is on the same point as the origin point coming up like that. I'm also going to draw another line at the bottom, something like this. Click on this point and your origin point. And let me try that again. Click on this point. Hold it down the control key and your origin point at a vertical relation. Then we are going to draw a circle on this line. The center point should be on this line and draw it and click up there. So you should have something like this. Then we can use the three point arc. So if you click on this drop down, it is the three point arc. We'll select this circle. Select this point and drag out something like this and click again 
and we should have that accept that select that arc and your circle and add a tangent relation then we'll use the trim tool we'll trim this out and you should have something like this let's add some dimension I'll click smart dimension from this line to this edge it's going to be 0.5 from this point to this point it's going to be 4.25 we can click this line and make it a construction line the radius for this first arc is going to be 1 and the radius for this is going to be 7 and we need more and more dimension here and the dimension here is from this point to that point is going to be 1.6 we have a fully defined sketch let's add a fillet here our fillet size is going to be 0 0.5 I'm going to move this so you can see then let's mirror this sketch to this side I'll select mirror entity I'll select this sketch over here then I'll select mirror about and I'll select this line and click OK it's probably going to break our sketch that's fine let's select this arc and select that point of that line and add a coincident relation now let's add our dimension again from that point to this line it's going to be 4.25 and everything should be fully defined then once you have this you can exit the sketch then come to surface tab select this drop down select project curve and it is going to be sketch on face we'll select that sketch and for the face we'll select this face and once you see that preview click ok and you should have something like this next we are going to select the right plane and come to the sketch tab and start a new sketch on the right plane going to go normal two. I'm just going to draw a circle somewhere out here and we'll add the dimension to that circle I'm going to click on smart dimension and it is going to be 0.125 then click on this point holding down the control key select your arc and add a pierce relation and it should put the center of that circle on your arc and you have a fully defined sketch exit out of the sketch then come back to the feature tab select sweep boss for the profile we are going to select our circle and for the part we are going to select our curve and click ok and it should give you something like this we are going to right click on that curve and hide that curve because we don't need it anymore then select this top face start a new sketch on it number two then select that face again click convert entity and you can exit your sketch we now have that sketch on that face come to the feature tab extrude bus and it is going to be 0.625 and click OK and you should have something like this next let's select the front plane and start a new sketch number two so I'm going to zoom in I'm going to draw a line from this edge go into that edge something like that so make sure your line is touching those two edge let's add a dimension from this line to that edge is going to be 3.75 I mean 0.375 so type 0.375 you should have a fully defined sketch exit then let's come to the surface tab we'll click on this curve select split line the first selection is going to be your sketch and the second is going to be this face and click OK then let's select this face and start a sketch number 2 and select offset entities and we are going to select this edge reverse the direction 
and the dimension is going to be 0.375 and click OK and we are going to exit this sketch now let's go to the surface tab under the curve select split line we are going to select that sketch and for the face we are going to select this face and click OK and you should have something like that next let's come to the feature tab and select fillet we are going to select the face fillet for the first selection we are going to select this face and this face and for the second selection we are going to select this face so you should have something like this then on that fillet perimeter select the drop down and select old line then we are going to select this edge over here and we are also going to select this edge over here then on that profile select the drop down and select the continuous one and you should have something like this make sure your settings looks like this then click OK next we are going to add another fillet so I'm going to select fillet it's going to be 0 0.06 and we are going to select this face so once you select one of those loop face it should add the full fillet on everything your preview should look like this and click OK now we are going to shell this part so we'll select shell and the dimension is going to be 0 0.02 in the face we are going to remove so select this blue face to remove over here and select this face and click OK so we have now shelled this part if I move it up here and I click section and click OK you can see that we have shelled it the next thing we are going to do is let's add a thread up here we are going to click this drop down and select thread then I'll click OK for the edge of the cylinder I'm going to zoom in I'm going to select this edge let's select the offset and we'll leave that number as default then let's select this and let's change this number to 0.16 then select extrude change this to 36 by 2 so scroll down until you see 36 by 2 click mirror profile so it's on the outside and you should have something like this for the blind change it to 0.29 so make sure your settings looks like mine and once you've entered them click OK and there you go we have the threads we are going to add a fillet to our threads so select fillet it is going to be 0 0.0125 then I'm going to select this face and this face and this face then click OK I'm going to add another fillet again I'll select fillet it is going to be 0.1 and I'll add it to this edge over here and click OK and this is how you create this bottle the last thing we will do is add an appearance I'll click on the appearance select the color and drag it on it and add it to the part and I can come here and I'll right click on that color edit appearance and you can pick any color you want in here I'm just going to click one of these colors and click OK and this is how you design this bottle in SolidWorks thank you guys so much if you find this video helpful please like and share it because by liking and sharing it is what's going to make this channel grow and it also lets me know that you like tutorials like this and I can create more of this. Thank you and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.